Viewers, uh, right here we are at the tomb of uh, Captain Philip and his cohorts. As you can see, this is the place where they were killed and buried. Uh, this is Captain Philip's uh, tomb and his cohorts. Uh, as you can see, his, uh, Captain Philip and his cohorts were actually killed here and buried here. Uh, you, uh, uh, Piero, the names, uh, yes. the number is, I can see James. Yeah, we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven of them, huh? Yeah, they were actually massacred Namely, at this very spot. Namely, James Philip, who was the leader of the team. Yeah. We have Peter Copland, yeah. Crawford. Then Arthur Manning, yeah. Kenneth Campbell, yeah. Robert Elliott, Harry Powis, and Thomas Condon. They were all... They were um, we are on. Yeah. Okay. So it's, yes, uh, the event of 1897 that actually led to the vision of Benin Kingdom, you know, coupled with the subsequent um, taking away of the Oba about Vurame. Actually, there is, there is actually. Yeah, it was, this monument was actually built by the British government. Yeah. It was built by the British Yes, government. yes. Okay. So this plaque was yeah. unveiled by the British High Commission. Commission. Yeah. So yes. Look at the yes. name, Mr. Told Masfrey. You can On see that. 17th February 1997. That was when, Sound. during the reign of Oba, Eri Jawa, of yeah. blessed memory, yeah. where we celebrated the anniversary, yeah. yes, the, the centenary, of yes. The General. Yes. Okay. Our British Consul General James Phillips. Arrow Phillips. Yes. And six of, of his consulates. Consulate. Uh, the colleagues. Who were killed mm. near this his what? This spot. Near this spot. On the 4th of January. On the 4th of January 1897. 1897. Wow. This is a great information. Um, <laughs> take note. Maybe one day our question is going to come from here so that you can contest for it. Take note of all this information. Uh, Piero, so now I can see some farm, uh, how, is it, how is it happening? Yes, uh, some uh, indigent uh, uh, members of the community are doing their farms around here. Okay. And Bordeaux, there's a, a land, you know, demarcated specifically for this uh, monument. As you can see at the junction, you see the samples Assembly from Assembly. that was actually yeah. hosted by the Ministry of Art and Culture okay. during the time of uh, Sazero. And uh, at that very time, the, our expectation was so high because at that time he came here, personally visited this spot of Sazero, and uh, he gave us assurance that the government was to come here and develop this site. From time to time, the students. People, even the last time during the reign of Oba Eri Dawa, of blessed memory, the grandson of Jesus Philip visited Benin Kingdom and where he returned to artifacts. He personally visited this spot, like the grandson of James Philip. Students so from other states sometimes come here. From there, from OAU, Abafan Wallow University, until the other time, the student came here, the University. And uh, I think it was not just students also came. Some, they come from time to time, but the fact remains that this place has been left fallow without proper development. It was actually from this spot, that song, O Big Beni Zakelimayo, Emayo Zakelimayo, emanated from here. It was from this spot, after that scene, after the massacre of the white men, because the white men saw themselves as mighty. You know, metaphorically, you know, looking at okay, a knee. An elephant is mighty, you can, actually, you can hardly push an elephant, you can hardly fight an elephant. But to their amazement, they were able to kill the so-called mighty men 
of the white. It's just the normal local instrument. So war, you know, instrument. So, so it was after the massacre here, they sang a song from here to Benin, to the palace of the Oba, that O Big Beni, Sagele Maju, Emayo Sagele Maju. It's a war song. It's a war song. But so I, I want us to sing it together. You know? <laughs> let's sing it. Let's, please, let's join. That is why in Benin Kingdom, where there's any person who wants to kind of wrestle with the palace, yeah. who wants to, who want to like, okay. you know, undermine yeah. the authority yeah. and the power, the relevance of the palace, vis-à-vis yeah. -vis the Benin monarch. Yeah. Once that song is sang, you know that you are out for war. O big beni sagele mayo, e mayo sagele mayo. O big beni sagele mayo, e mayo sagele mayo. O big beni sagele mayo, e mayo sagele mayo. Oba talk pe hey. Yeah, thank you so much. Still, all this is still coming to you from Mugbene community. Uh, we are getting close to the the height of his all. Uh, we will always uh, let you know more information about Ugbine and uh, we are using this media like I've always said government attention is needed highly. in Ugbine, highly needed in Ugbine so we'll get to the upper quarter they really need to give Ugbine a face look because here we host a lot of uh, tourists and it will generate a lot of revenue for the state visit Tedo TV